Hi everybody, I'm Alex and today I will show you how prototyping preview works in Lunacy. Let's start with previews in local documents. The main thing that you should remember is that prototyping is about adbots. No adbots, no preview. Layers that are beyond adbots won't show in the preview. To start a preview, press the play button on the top bar. The preview will open in your system default browser. I'd recommend using Chrome-based browsers like Google Chrome, the Chrome-based version of Edge, Opera and so on. Other browsers might have trouble with opening Lunacy previews correctly. If your default browser fails to open a preview, just copy the link in the address bar and paste it into Chrome or Opera or whatever. Previews of local documents update in real time. I am changing an image and the preview immediately updates. So, you don't need to press the play button every time you want to see new changes in your preview. If you want to show your work to other people, prototyping preview is the best option. Press the share button to get a link to your preview. Let's open another tab and see how it works. Unlike and shared, shared previews do not automatically update. If you want your viewers to see the latest version, you have to share it once again, while the link remains the same. Now I will show you a little trick that you can do with shared previews. You can embed a preview as an interactive part of your portfolio via iframe or something like that. I will show an iframe embedding. Get a share link to your preview, open it, open the inspect panel in your browser. Find the ID of core div for the object you need. In my case, it's AdWords. Open your code editor and fill the source value with the link to your shared preview. Add a shape and the object's ID that you found earlier at the end of the link. Define the size value, save the result and check it in your browser. That's it. Works great, right? The only drawback is that if no one opens the page with the preview at least once in 30 days, the preview will be gone. You can also use previews as interactive guides, or for presentations, or for tutorials. I'm sure you can find even more ways of using previews. Now let's get down to prototyping previews of cloud documents. To run a preview, use the same play button. Previews of cloud documents also get updated automatically, but with a short delay. As you might know, in cloud documents users can leave text comments, voice comments and stickers. Let's add a couple of comments and see how they work in preview. Everyone who has access to cloud document or a link to the preview can read comments. Currently, voice comments and stickers don't work in the preview, but we'll fix it very soon.
If you want to add or reply to comments, you've got to be signed in. By the way, it doesn't matter whether you create an account in Lunacy or at iconthate.com. The users working with the document get new comments in a couple of seconds after they've been added. Only the author of a comment can edit it. Stickers are a nice way to quickly add reactions. Unlike text comments, stickers cannot be edited. Everyone can change a comment status from result to unresolved and back. Only the document owner can delete comments of other users. Voice comments are a great time saver when you've got lots to say. The max duration of a voice comment is 120 seconds. Write in the comments if you find like this video with my voice over better than old one. Thank you.